Hello math lovers, welcome back to math mood. Here we have interesting potential equation. 4 to the power x minus 3 to the power x equal to 7. I feel you you feel an answer, you know an answer, but what about solution? Because we need to write a solution on our paper. But I think you feel an answer, but let's try to check it. Okay, the main idea to solve this type of potential equation is to divide both sides by one value. For example, I divide both sides by 4 to the power x. 4 to the power x over 4 to the power x minus 3 to the power x over 4 to the power x. It will be equal to 7 to the 7 over 4 to the power x. So this will be equal to 1 minus, I use this rule, if I have a to the power x over b to the power x, I can write it as a over b all to the power x. So this is a, this is b, so I can write it as 3 over 4 to the power x. It will be equal to 7 over 4 to the power x. I think you you understand me. The next step I'll do, I will take this on the right side. 1 equal to 7 over 4 to the power x plus 3 over 4 to the power x. So, I just wanted to remember with you about an exponent function. If we have y equal to b to the power x, if we have b between 1 and 0, our fun function will be decreasing. But if our b is more than 1, our function will be increasing. So, how can we use this right here and why I just write it right there? So, 7 over 4 to the power x. Let's start with that function. 4 to the power x is increasing function because b is more than 1. But if we have this function in denominator, it will be a decreasing function. If we have 4 to the power x in the denominator, it will be increasing function. But we have 4 to the power x in our denominator, so it will be a decreasing function. The next function we have is 3 over 4 to the power x, and for sure it will be decreasing function, because our base is between 0 and 1. This is our function looks like. So if we have sum of two decreasing function, it will be decreasing function as well. So take a look, we have constant function 1 and decreasing function. So we have 1 constant and decreasing function. For example, I don't know how this function looks like, but we know that it will be a decreasing function, so I write for sure a decreasing function. So as you can see, we will have one and only one. This function are going to intersect at one point, when they do intersect at all. So we have one point with these two functions. So just let go back to our function and our solution will be for sure 1 or 2 or 3, let's check uh, 16 minus 9, it would be equal to 7, so x would be equal to, to 2 and this is the proof that this root will be 1 and only 1 because for sure we will have 2, 3, 10 root, but with this proof we will have only one solution because we have a decreasing function and a constant and these functions are going to 
intersect at one point when they do intersect at all. So one root with this explanation and for sure I think you feel it and x will be equal to 2. Write your answer in the comment, write your questions. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.